Hello everyone, welcome to Uncork. This is Holly. And this is Gina. And Gina, it's the girlfriend chat today with our Southern Belle. <laughs> our Southern Belle, Laura Landrum. And mm -hmm. folks, hang on to your hats because today we have a famous psychic medium oh, in. <laughs> mm -hmm. she's, she's freaking out, but we can tell you it's exciting. She's in the Uncorked house today and we can't we can't wait. We cannot. We, number one psychic in Georgia. <laughs> oh, right. As right, designated right, by right. the uncorked ladies. Absolutely. Yes. And by the way, you know, like the, the recording started a little later because I was asking all about me, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> which is appropriate. I have a lot of issues. And we now know exactly how many human months you have to wait. I know. That I have to hear about things. Excitement. <laughs> until the human months are up. <laughs> thank, God it was, thank God it was a low number, What's Laura. Thank God it was a low yes. number. Thank God, I, mean, right? thank I know, God. right? It's a long time. Right. That's a no long idea. time to wait. I mean, human months go slowly okay, when we're so waiting. Wherever yes. you are out there, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is my warning. I issue <laughs> to all the men out there, I'm oh, coming. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, oh, Gina, yes. uh, kick us off. We are going to let her do her bio. Yes, absolutely. Okay, and her story. Absolutely. You kick us off, girl. Well, as we always do on the podcast, we always feel like it sets a really nice foundation for our conversation today, Laura. So if you would, wouldn't mind sharing the kind of path and trajectory, the highlights of Laura, um, kind of what brought you to where you're at today, um, any foundational information or stories that you think would be important to kind of lay a good foundation for the rest of our conversation today for, for our, our girlfriend for chat our, for our girlfriend chat and girlfriend so we're chat. bringing the That's audience the in to what we've just been doing for Absolutely. the last 20 minutes so yes please <laughs> without all my details right I, <laughs> yes yes you, you can talk about your stories. human months not hers yeah <laughs> right, right, yeah, right exactly exactly um well i will start with um 20 no, yes, 20 years in pediatric nursing. Wow. Um, I knew from the time I was a little girl that I wanted to be a nurse. There was never any question about it. It was my path, and I never questioned it. It was just yep. what I wanted to do. And so um, so I did that. I worked, um, first I worked in two different teaching hospitals, which are really the best place for an RN to really learn um, used to take care of a lot of sicker kids in teaching hospitals. So I did that, and um, and I pretty much worked in hospitals my whole career. There was a few different places, but mostly hospitals. And, um, and then after about that 20 years, I started, um, I started getting really burned out. Um, I was taking care of kids at home who had chronic and terminally ill diseases illnesses mm -hmm. yeah. and i think that just kind of yeah. that was kind of like the last thing i just mm -hmm. didn't have the emotional physical mental energy to keep keep doing that mm -hmm. and um and so i i quit i quit nursing and um went on a journey to try and figure out what it was i wanted to do at that point with my life i knew it was going to be something very different and um I told y'all my story about um, landing on a seminary. That was just a amazing thing that happened one day at home when I was still, you know, just walking around feeling so blue and mm. I don't know what I want to do, you know, what my purpose is. I don't know, mm -hmm. but landed on seminary. And so I, um, I went to, um, went to Emory and, um, got my master of divinity finished uh emory mm -hmm. and then i was ordained and um long short story of that was that i served four different church churches as a senior pastor oh wow um there's many stories about that, about that. <laughs> uh, and um anyway so my my journey into psychicness started um while i was still a young nurse actually um i had um, my husband and my two boys, um, they were young, five, five and three, maybe ish. And we had gone up to visit my husband's parents up north for Christmas, it was Christmas holidays. And um, 
my grandparents lived downstairs in my parents' house. Um, Mom had moved them there so that she could help, she and daddy could help take care of them. Mm. And um, in this particular morning, we were getting ready to leave to go home. And so my husband had already left and, um, and I put the boys in the car and I came through to kiss mom goodbye and leave. And she said, would you please go down and check on Nana? That was my grandmother. Um, she said she has some chest pain this morning and I've taken her to the doctor and they cleared her, but I just want you to go check on her. So I said, so I ran downstairs and walked in and she was bitching at my grandfather and he was ignoring her or doing his crossword. It was just normal, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And so I checked her, her color was great. Her heart sounded good. She was breathing well. She was chatty. You know, she was, she was good. So I ran back upstairs, told mom that Nana was fine and I was taken off. So I ran back down the steps to go to the car. And when I got to the bottom step, I heard this very clear voice in my head that said, go back in. Mm. It's just those three words, just mm. go back in. And, um, and it felt kind of like a surreal moment to me, but at the same time, it was not a questioned yeah. moment. I mean, it's just, you just do that. So I went in and, and yeah. it hadn't been five minutes since I was there. The whole downstairs was dark. They had left the room where they were. I walked down the hall and my grandmother was in bed and making this ungodly snoring noise. I just never heard anything like it before. And, um, and of course my grandfather, I asked him if she did that and he, he didn't know cause he couldn't hear, <laughs> but uh, he was 95 almost. <laughs> like that. But um, anyway, so I was really concerned and I crawled up on the bed and I pulled the covers down a little bit and her, uh, my grandmother's hands were disparate. They were they were getting like this, oh, wow. and I thought, "Oh God, she's having a stroke." That was my first mm -hmm. my first thought, and um, and I I yelled at my grandfather to go get my mother because she needed to call the ambulance. But within about a minute of that, I pulled the covers a little down a little bit further, and my grandmother died. Right, right there she quit breathing her heart stopped she just oh. died right there on the bed right in front of me oh, oh wow. and so um so i started doing cpr on her mm. and it took me i don't know a good 15 minutes i guess um before she came back and she was um the ambulance came about that same time that i actually she started breathing again and heart beating and everything oh. but she was in a coma and so um, went to the hospital. Um, the doctor, the ER doctor called me in and asked me, you know, just to tell him the story, which I did. And, um, and he was lovely. And he said, well, your grandmother's in a coma. And, you know, so we don't know what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll just wait and see. So four days later, my phone rings and it's my grandmother. Wow. And, she, and she says, Yaya, which is what she called me. She says, Yaya. I woke up today and I asked the nurses why my chest was so sore. And they told me what you did. Mm. You saved my life. Oh. And I, of course, at that point I lost it. You know, nurses are great in the moment. You know, we, yeah, can, sure. We can, we can do what we have to do, but then when it's all over, it's just, so she lived another two years fine. And, um, wow. I asked, of course I'm, I'm beginning to ask a lot of questions after this experience has happened mm. and um, and questions a lot about why my grandmother, why was it so important? I mean, that that had to happen because she was, she had been very sickly. She was diabetic. She had congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. I mean, she wasn't a healthy person. And, um, and finally one day I just heard that she was, she wasn't ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, that, to me, that was just an amazing story about God, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that we think for, for, for whatever, some, some big experiences because something big was supposed to happen, but it was just to save her and let her live right. the rest of her life. So wow. that was my beginning of psychicness. Mm. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, yeah, they, 
I mean, you jumped right in to the deep <laughs> yeah. end of the pool on the psychicness. And I mean, didn't question and yourself. Didn't question, uh, yeah. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Didn't yeah. question yourself. Like, <laughs> I got to get home. Yep. You know, I just looked at her. Why should I go back in? Right. Which is, you know, yep. rational human thought. Exactly. Let's, let's talk about the humans. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Incredible. Incredible story. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. So then what yeah. happened? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, then I was, then, um, I don't remember really any outstanding kind of psychic things going on for a good while. Mm-hmm. Were you still in the seminary? Were you still preaching and, and at um, that point in time? Well, actually, when that happened with my, Nurse. my grandmother, she, I was still You were pretty nursing. Young. I was oh, still, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And, okay. um, I had two young children, so I was, I was busy yeah. and, um, I don't, I don't remember too much. Ha- I mean, I don't, I'm sure maybe things did. It's just, I don't remember yeah. really anything too much. Um, and then, um, and then I had a really good friend at school. I was very busy with my, uh, at my, my children's school. Anyway, she kept, she pulled me aside one day and she said, I really want you to come see my good friend. Um, she's a psychic. She told me her name and she said, I want you to come and get a reading with her. And I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't do psychics. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to put myself through that. It wasn't a question in my mind, like, you know, so she bugged me two or three more times when my friend would come in to Atlanta to schedule readings for a weekend. And finally on the third time I gave up and I went to see her and i walked in the door and this and she looks at me and she says you're going to be a pastor and i remember looking at her and saying <laughs> you are so full of shit there yeah. is no way mm-hmm. that i will ever be a pastor you know yeah i sat down with her for like an hour and when she got through i was um i remember that my friend lived on a really steep hill mm-hmm. the driveway was very steep to go down and when I got down to my car, um, my knees were shaking so hard I couldn't drive. I sat there for like an hour to all the stuff she told me oh, wow. that was just right on it. I lost her about 10 years later, I guess. It was really sad, but she, I, um, I really um, think that she was the person who really prepared me for the human part of that you know yeah. just yeah um, she was a catalyst a change agent for you mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so um so anyway um after a lot of burnout uh, a lot of trouble um in my marriage and everything is when i did decide to go to seminary and um took me four years it was a three-year program, so I was still pretty proud of myself. I was in my 40s by then. <laughs> mm. I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I loved people, and that was really kind of what I guess I do. I just, I'm a healer, I think. Yes. From, Many um, lifetimes. From that way back. Yeah. yeah. For sure. For sure. So, um, so now that I... After I retired from ministry, um, I've really been able to dig into my to my psychic um, work, and I love it. Um, it gives me purpose. Like I just, mm. mm-hmm. I don't know. I just love it. Yeah, and I mean, you're beaming. I, well, it, I, it was beautiful. And I was like, okay, but when you were ministering to people in the church. Did you leverage some of your talents at that period of time or was it, and I'm not just, I'm of course, when you're there and you're showing up and you're present, you're healing people. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm speaking from like a psychic standpoint. Did you see people and go, oh gosh, they're going through, did you know what was happening and didn't share it? Or how did that show up for you in your ministry? Um, I think that actually not being aware like like a moment with my grandmother, like when I heard something, it would be like I would understand something. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And that helped me because there was so much, oh, so much uh, pain in a church mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. all different directions. Oh, sure. And... Um, 
And it was really um, after I did retire from ministry, um, I, I felt like that my angels, you know, kept me from going crazy <laughs> a lot of times and um, and helped me deal with issues and problems that were going on um, and kept me safe. I think yeah. that was really the, the main thing. Um, and um, and so when I retired, then, um, oh, I had pastored a church up in the North Georgia mountains, and my parents lived up there in North Carolina in the mountains. And um, after my dad died, I was still working there, but I was living with my mom. And um, and a year after daddy died, that she said she decided that we should come back to Atlanta. I mean, this was our home and grew up here, um, and she did too. So we moved back, and then within, I don't know, five or six months of moving back, I found a, a psychic class um, preparing people to become psychics, and I just jumped on it. I didn't even think about it. Um, I just jumped on it, and I loved it, and it was like, okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and it wasn't, uh, it, you have, I mean, for, for me, you have to work on it a long time. Mm. It, to me, it's not like... Um, I don't know, like my friend who who understood things from the time she was very tiny. Um, I don't, I just don't have experience like that, really. Mm -hmm. um, but mine just started coming after I did that and then start working at psychic fairs and that kind of thing, just practicing and practicing and practicing. You get, um, and you're slowly led to the place, the point, I think, that you're supposed to be. It's kind of what I feel like right now. Mm -hmm, right. I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. So how, yeah. how, given it wasn't something, I mean, aside from, you know, the, the clear knowing around your grandmother, like the go back in, right? Um, how did you find those messages or start to tune in? Like, can you kind of talk to like that process of honing honing your listening, honing that relationship between spirit and, and, and how to then interpret and provide that to someone. It's one, I think, I feel like it would be something if it, if you're just doing something for yourself based on intuition, but then you're sharing that with others. So can you kind of talk through your, that process and that learning and, 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 and I'm, I'm thinking maybe more so for our audience in listening mm -hmm. that, you know, we all have a knowing and, and a relationship with spirit, right? We all have it. And so oh, whether yes. you're a psychic and able to share that with others on behalf of someone else or just for yourself and your own knowing, can you kind of talk through yeah, what that looked like what, and teach us what that might, you know, maybe how to mm -hmm. hone that craft, what that worked jam. for you and, and how you knew what you were getting was what you should share yeah. with someone else. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, that's the big, a big growth part. Yeah, um, I would think. And, um, and learning to trust, you know, mm. like we were talking about earlier, um, that what you hear, what you say is correct, which mm -hmm. is not something that you've made up in your head. And of course, I know I can't make up what I, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> what, I what I share now, but um, that's awesome. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is a <laughs> right awesome. Pause for a moment there, right? I know. Well, uh, I, we're we're laughing. So audience, we're laughing because I just had a, a, the most magnificent reading yes. with Laura and. And I shared it with Gina, so she's yep. on the know. And so our little <laughs> snicker is like, I don't think she'd make that shit up. No, okay. No, and no, it's, I don't think so. no and it's pretty funny and and kind of like the opposite of you know, kind of sort of like where you think you should be and where you are are two different places. And I'm like, all right, sister, sing it to me. Okay, like, and she laid it down. So we're snickering. We're all laughing yep. about that. That's yep. what we're laughing yes. about. But yep. but you know, there's there's truth in there that sure. you know you can't make it up but anyway go ahead back yeah. to the question back to the original programming back to laura she's teaching us how to listen to ourselves and yep. not freak out okay yep <laughs> oh y'all are so much fun um, i think um i think my best journey has been through we'll say that word again my best 
journey, yeah, really yeah. is to sit down and write every day. Mm. Okay. Um, I um, take, I go into a brief meditation, and then I just pull out my paper and pen, and I just start writing. Oh, yeah. And um, and then I've learned how to um, jump in to that time and ask more questions, ask for um helping i help me understand you know mm -hmm. you and um and why you and why my angels are you and i doing this and why am i why am i doing this and um and under trying to understand that relationship and and who they all are <laughs> your angels your archangels um ascended masters guides um just you can't ever know um all of that but um but i'm finding that i'm on quite a spiritual i've been on a spiritual journey i guess all my life but but right now it's more one of understanding that we are all spirit mm -hmm. yeah and um and that really helps sorry my language really helps me um focus better on what i'm asked to do what i'm called to do and um it feels to me like um coming from that space of understanding that we are all spirit um it really helps me appreciate more what i do you know that i okay i've been called to heal my readings are about healing mm. i mean even though they they have fun stuff in there oh yeah <laughs> but yes <laughs> healing yes stuff. it is yeah mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> yeah um it's a way of being with people that is um just so different to look at to look at them that way mm -hmm. um and so like right now um i'm I've dived deep into Ascended Masters. I'm reading about them and um, um, channeled who mine were. And so I'm reading about them and, sorry, just said that, um, reading about activating them it, yeah. inside myself mm -hmm. and all of that. So, um, it. yeah, it's. So you started out by writing. So when like automatic writing or something, so you do, you did I more than that. It's like, so you do, when you get up to write, do you start with a question like, um, you know, what should I like maybe mm -hmm. for my is like, what's my next steps in my career or something like that. And would you start off with that? Or would you just like free flow, whatever comes to your mind without intention and focus? What? So, total free flow free flow mm -hmm. okay free all flow. right yes 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 and um, yes and from that then you started diving deeper into the spiritual realm yes yeah. and mm -hmm. it um and it's it's just really interesting how um i have asked my angels lately to please help me hear them you know all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. and um and I think probably it's good that they don't. Yeah. <laughs> because if you had that going on, you would never have any peace. I mean, that would be, you couldn't just mm -hmm. shut your brain down and do you, watch a movie. Do you actually hear them, Laura, or is it? Oh, yes. Okay, so it's an audible Claire for you. Audi a clear audience. Uh, audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Audience? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear the words. Yeah, I don't ever get words. No. I get like just knowing. Yeah, which is. Or how do you even explain that yeah. knowing i yeah. mean you can't explain it yeah it just yeah. floats in and you mm -hmm. go well i know that one didn't come from me like mm -hmm. you that's how i know we need to leave the whole foods right now that's right <laughs> <laughs> I, yes no, i it have is. done mm -hmm. some things mm -hmm. that are mm -hmm. like oh we're leaving and she's like you know whatever it is and okay she's like okay we're going we're and going then, yeah and, and, and you were right for that i like that you were right you were right right you were right i it. was like all right and sure enough she was right so well she trusts just... my intuition more than i trust my intuition mm -hmm. so having somebody you're believe... such a good friend you yeah. know i try yes. i try thank you yeah. Laura. Yeah. i'm gonna she write is. that down and put a star on today's date <laughs> i oh got a gold star today yeah that's right good friend day no no okay so you get it odd which i would think would be 
I don't know. I don't know if there's a preferred method to get these downloads. I want words. But I think the words, you can't mis misinterpret words, really. Well, you no. could, maybe. Could you? I mean, no. For no. the most part, it's for a little most... clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. very clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that like would be fantastic. And if people want to mm -hmm. develop their intuition, so you're saying uh, write, you know, free flow every day, that, that really helped, you know, embody your intuition and your psychic, because mm -hmm. um, everybody has. Everybody has it. Has some. You, yes. you agree with that, too. Some degree Absolutely. of, like you said, some people come in just as a little girl. They were completely psychic. Some of us develop later. Some of mm -hmm. us, you know, have had it, it and strong. lost it because you quit lost listening. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which there's and, that. Oh, I have that. I have that too. Mm -hmm. You know, like I shut mm -hmm. that down and then, you know, we're looking for it. Hello, <laughs> intuition. Where are you? Remember me? <laughs> I'm back. Remember me. <laughs> I'm Hello. Holly. You know? <laughs> Come Hello, back. Holly. Come back. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> so are there any, are there any other tips in that area that I, I have a, uh, you had made a, a comment well, let's just go with the tips. Yes. Any more tips on how to develop that? And then I want to talk about something that you had brought up that I think is really important. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the um, one thing I would suggest is, is just having a spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you get up in the morning or sometime during the day when it hits, it um, doesn't have to be anything you know, a long chant or, um, you know, thanking your angels for letting you know that they're here with you, you know, mm -hmm. um, thank them for what they're teaching you, that you want to listen, that you want to learn. Um, mm. But also doing that with what you're comfortable with, you know, praying to. Mm -hmm. Whoever it is that you really, really um, want to give that to and, and ask for that help back, um, it's really important that you that you respect and feel good about who you're yeah. who you're talking to and who yeah. you're working with. So yeah. I'm 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 all angels, but you know everybody has. There's so many other folks up in heaven yeah. and around here. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Do you yeah. do you have do you call your angels by name? Do you feel the energy of the angels? Like, just how have you built that relationship think, and partnership well, uh, with and then angels? Let's yes. add to that yes. because, like, I think angels are supposed to be called upon to do things. Yes. So I have board meetings with mine, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that's beside the point. Okay, She's bossy. so so. Can, yeah. Do you feel them? Do you call on them to ask, yeah. you know, ask, is it a requirement to uh -huh. call on them? Yeah. I'm curious. No, no, no. It can be any way really. Okay. Um, um, <clears throat> I was able to, I can't think of the right word when you use the first letter of a, of a word. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, my, my angels, one starts with T, one A, oh. one M, and one E, so they're Tammy. And so I just talked to Tammy. Oh, you know, and they're multiple. I love that. I love that. That is awesome. That is we awesome. We had a guest that called God Neil. Neil. Mm -hmm. I just talked to Neil, and I'm like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Everybody's Neil. so you good with Neil. anything. Yeah. You know, it's all right. If God it's can be right. Neil, angels can be Tammy. There I just, you go. I just want to confess because, you know, we're in a safe space here. Okay. Uh -huh. I want to confess if if my angels and people start complaining to Laura, they have every reason to complain. Mm -hmm. I'm a non nonstop talker uh -huh. and assembler and asker and i mean like i don't think it's normal i don't think i'm normal but like so if they're complaining about like could you tell her to shut up mm -hmm. i'll take that yeah. you know under consideration <laughs> consideration being the, the operative word like Probably not, Opposite but I'll, I'll think about I it for a minute. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh if, my they, God. if they get all annoyed that I'm, I'm, I'm really high maintenance when it comes to the, to heaven and the angels, our guides, whatever we have, all and those getting stuff done in listen, the human I'm months you have. I'm very high yes. maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I understand that I'm the customer here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I understand. I'm and then the there's customer. important stuff like you know. Oh my God. You're in the middle of your day and you oh think God. of something you want. And you just say, God, can I afford to go get that? Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. 
No, and I'm appreciative yes, too. Know. I give. I think we should give lots of praise. Oh. So I, I'm joke. I'm. I'm actually not joking. It's really true. But yes. But but no. I am appreciative too. Like I really, you know, I'm like I'm the customer here. Come on. Okay, uh -huh. you're here to help me. <laughs> right, get to right. it. Get okay. to it. Get to it. And then I'm like, yeah. I'm so help. thankful. But uh, but now. I am so thankful. <laughs> yes, you are. I, I think you it's are. so hard being a human, and, and even harder to be Holly's yeah. angels. Right. They're busy. I they're know that. Very busy. Very busy. Very busy. <laughs> meeting after meeting after meeting if about the complain, situation. Yes. <laughs> you know that that they have reason to complain. Okay. So one of one of the things that you said that I found fascinating. I'd like us to roll around in this for a while. Gina, you can yeah. help if I don't land the airplane on this question effectively. But we have a lot of audience members. I've had a lot of friends um, that are afraid to go to psychics. Yep. And so, and you had just said your first psychic, she told you stuff you weren't really ready for, but you were ready for it clearly because you guys became friends and, you know, she has, she was a change agent and a catalyst. Um, and so how do we, I, okay. So I feel like, let me rewind a little bit. We used to have psychics help us rule nations. Mm -hmm. Psychics mm. used to be involved in, in the kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I have not researched this to sound very smart here, but the worlds, kingdoms, empires. Uh, and I know more psychics now are actually helping corporations. Mm -hmm. It's like, what happened to the advice of trusted psychics guides, seers. and guides mm -hmm. and seers and that's been along since biblical times mm -hmm. and so somehow long before google long <laughs> before google yeah. google's a close second okay mm -hmm. and then now it's ai, AI? let's chat mm -hmm. gpt mm -hmm. it okay mm -hmm. and so so here we are in a space where it is much more normal to go see a psychic go mm -hmm. get advice i do like to get guidance mm -hmm. and i i don't think everyday guidance is healthy okay because that means you're codependent okay mm -hmm. but i do like and i watch out for that mm -hmm. i do like that advice i think that you know running a business that can also be helpful yes. in the business world so i believe in corporate psychics mm -hmm. so how do we get over the fear so our audience members they want to go have a psychic reading, but gosh, I really don't want to talk about my ex-husband yeah. or yeah. I don't know. I mean, or I'm afraid of what Might come you're going to tell me mm -hmm. I'm going to die. Okay. Like this, mm -hmm. I've heard that one before. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, or that you're not well or, or I'm not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do people, what is your advice? I'm going to stop talking here and give you the floor, Laura, but what is your <laughs> advice for those people to, to, uh, invite them in and should they look out for certain yeah. things anyway just how do we prepave that path to support that maybe we haven't thought of in the past yes well unfortunately I think a lot of people have bad experiences with psychics yeah. um, and I I feel so badly about that because it makes such a difference in someone's life mm -hmm. um, but um, there's things about, well, don't say this to the psychic because you want to make sure that they say it to you. Blah, 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 blah. And, <laughs> yes, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the al I mean, all that stuff is real. It's, it's um, you know, I, I have been in groups where with, I don't know, 10 or 15 other psychics doing readings. And I could get someone, someone could sign up for like four different readings. Yeah. that day mm -hmm. and um, when they get to you you find out they heard this and they heard that and they heard this and they heard that and then what you come out with is nothing like right. what they've heard previously um, and I feel kind of bad about that because I mean I I think if it all comes out right it's it's great but um, I don't know I think for me, it's just been a long journey of trust. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, trust. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. trusting that what what's coming out of me is is divine. It's divine guidance and um, divine healing and um, 
but it's taken me a long time to get to that place sure. of just being able to trust. Yeah. Because like you said earlier, you know, I've been how you just question yourself. You think, mm -hmm. and I did that for years. Oh, yeah. that's stupid. I just, that wasn't right. And, mm -hmm. you know, you do a reading and somebody looks at you and just, they want to get up and leave because they think you suck, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, it would. Yeah. It would. Yeah. Well, yeah. and then you hear back that, you know, it actually happened. Yeah. Then you get, yeah. then you get, then people do circle back with you as, you know, kind of you were saying previously, like people do circle back and that, that <clears throat> also aids in your growth in your own trust I and think it's important confidence. To circle right? back. Oh, huge. I think it's really important mm -hmm. as, as someone I'd who has somebody's a reading, life doing that. I changed somebody's life doing that. So I had a, I went to this psychic reading and I, I, I really know oh, yeah. I, my friend was having it and there was like I a little this. fair I remember this. and I said, Oh yeah, I'll sit down and have a tea yeah. leaf reading. Uh -huh. And, and the woman said, um, um, you're going to get a sweet dog. And I was like, yeah, my husband says we'll never get a dog, you know, and yeah, she's right, like, right. and so I'm looking at her like, okay, well, hmm. mm -hmm. and then I was getting ready to leave and she's like, this sounds really weird. Like nobody would have the balls to say this. Mm -hmm, okay. Like mm -hmm. to me, like this sounds really weird, but do you have a bird and who has a bird? I had a fucking bird. Okay. Like I had the bird. Okay. And she said, I go, well, yes, I have a bird. And she, cause I was getting ready yeah. to leave after the dog and you know, the dog's holding a flower and it's a sweet dog. And, um, and I'm like, Oh, okay. Like that's never going to happen. Right. Okay. And then the bird, I think, I think spirit pulled her back. Cause like, I mean, I think I really upset her because I'm sure I looked at her like she was crazy yeah. and I tried to yeah. make my face not show it, but like, mm, no, yeah. my face showed it anyway. No. So the yeah. bird and she goes, well, the bird is going to go away. And I go, well, thank God it's going to go away. I'm sick of the bird. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't want it to die. What are you telling me? She goes, no, it's going right. to go to a nice family. Mm -hmm. And honest to God, God, yep, I the, remember that. the dog came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It was a rescue. Mm -hmm. The bird, we had a party at the house. And of course, my bird was in an English tutor. Because why? Because my bird was fancy. All right. Mm -hmm. Fancy bird. Looked fancy. Looked mm -hmm. very pretty. Was sick of the bird. Okay. And one yep. of the little girls came in and fell in love with the bird. And it was her birthday. And I said, may I gift her the bird? And That's uh, right. I, I gifted that. her the bird. So I went back. I know this is not about me today, but you know, it's always about you, <laughs> but that's okay. Lady. So I went that's back right. to the psychic and I told her exactly yes. what transpired. I hugged her. I kissed her hand and she <laughs> said, and then we became friends forever. Mm -hmm. So like she actually would do a lot of psychic fairs and mm -hmm. I love her. <clears throat> and, um, and I would circle back mm -hmm. and, and see her and, you know, we became friends. And mm -hmm. so I think it's really important, but yeah, I, I've done tea readings with this. Yes. First, but like, like you listen, have to, like, I mean, that's like for her to say that, like, that's, you know, I mean, that's, that's like, you've got a lot of guts to say you got a bird. Yeah. I do not look like I have a bird. No, no, <laughs> no, nor do you have yeah. one anymore. Yeah. No, anyway, no, I think so. it's really good. So, and the other thing I, I think about a lot and cause we've done, done the affairs, um, as well as I, I would think it would be takes probably some honing and some skill uh, for, to make sure the message that you're sharing with the person sitting in front of you is meant for that person and not for someone else yeah, is there nearby. There? Right. Is know. there some, can you kind of share a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, it's, um, for me, it's just like I go to this place, uh -huh. and I'm there for the whole reading. Okay. It's, there's not, um, there's not any, you know, like movement. So you don't wander like the halls like anywhere, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm just totally in that space, mm -hmm. um, and, um. And I guess that's an important reason of why I know that it's, it's right. It's right. Because I'm yeah. just in that space. You're very zoned yeah. in and yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. interruptions. There's no stray thoughts. There's just whatever's coming. Right. Yeah. I do right. think it's important. I'm going to go back to what you said. I do think it's important to trust, mm -hmm. you know, who you're getting advice from because it is such a, it's such a vulnerable position to be in. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And, absolutely. And so trusting the guidance Huge. and do you, I always want to know, do, do the psychics have a psychic? Do you have somebody that you tap or do you? Oh. Use? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun at the psychic fairs. Yeah. Um, if it gets really quiet, yeah. we all jump in and start reading for each other. Oh, just, I love it. just kind of walk around and okay, well, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And yeah. Um, and that's always a lot of fun, but um but there have been some really powerful moments i've had just from yeah. even just like the last fair i worked um where i had two of my friends tell me something really crazy that i needed to that i needed to hear and um so i think you probably just developed this place where you like you were talking about earlier about the knowing mm -hmm. like you just kind of know when you hear Mm -hmm. uh, like I did when I heard something, just two sentences worth of something, but yeah. it was something really, really important that mm -hmm. I needed to come home and start reading and studying and thinking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's everything. important. For yes, sure. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so right now you are doing psychic readings. You do them in Georgia in person, I think, but like if you are in the Atlanta area, but you do do them for on the phone because i know oh. <laughs> i do most of mine on the phone okay good people who might live close to me and you know i enjoy going to have, meet them for lunch or something mm -hmm. and doing that but um that's that's not the norm usually okay. um, i do it on my on my phone okay yeah well, listen, we will make a trip to Atlanta and have lunch we with go. you Absolutely. anytime. I mean, oh. that would be amazing. Let's all go to Hawaii. I'm Let's all go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Hawaii. Yeah, exactly. Look at exactly. the flowers. Ex yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, okay. So if we, so if I, if we have audience members yes. that, um, we would definitely put all the show notes and contact and information, contact information mm -hmm. for you to call and schedule and however you want to do that. Um, okay. What is your advice for people going to a psychic? How should they approach yeah. that? If somebody's coming to see you and I've done many, so I, I have, you have my, a little ritual. I have my own approach, <laughs> but, but uh, maybe I'll share it actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But what, what would be your approach? Um, or advice, I'm sorry, your advice yeah. for people that are coming no, if, to, mm -hmm. um, I, um, usually start with asking them if there's something that they want to talk about, sure. mm -hmm. um, not wait on me to get, you know, wherever, but, um, if there's something that's really pressing and they're mm -hmm. really need some answers and want to talk about it, you know, that's what I want to address first. Um, writing down questions. Yeah, get prepared, be prepared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because you don't Because you'll forget them. when you're in. Yeah, I think oh, that's a great absolutely. idea. Mm -hmm. Totally forget. And mm -hmm. readings go by so fast. They do. Yeah, they do. Um, I mean, I do an hour, but they still. They go, go by so fast. fast. Trust me, we just had an hour and I was like, what? And okay. What? What? Yeah. I look at the time. I'm like, wait, wait. The time is like, you know, like I'm the person that I'm the clock watcher going, oh no, we only have like 15 more minutes, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And I still right. asked more today. <laughs> yes, you did. You snuck a couple. But of yeah. Then, okay. Have questions. Keep going. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. And then I would have to say at that point that I just turn it over. Yeah. I mean, I, that's all I can do. They know what to, what you need to hear and not me. So. Well, the big, the big takeaway you, you've always shared this with me and it really has, it's been, honestly, I can't imagine having a reading without recording it because it does go so fast and you're in the moment you're having this dialogue and you're really present, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're very present. And so I take notes, even if you take the notes, mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes it just, you can't remember the context around yep. your note or something about how that that little nugget you wrote down yeah. came up. So I do feel like yeah. the, the recording is if, if the, if, if your psychic is comfortable with that, I feel like that's a big, oh, gotta, absolutely. gotta have. Yeah. Well, and it's like I told yeah. Holly, mm -hmm. you know, I, 
I channel everything. Yes. So when my the reading is over, I don't You're remember. I can't remember. Yeah. 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 No. Well, that makes sense. So, totally. Like, that's yeah. so amazing. Well, one of the things that I'll just share, and this is the no, uh, this is no like surprise for you, Gina. <laughs> okay. but, but one of the things that I do is a, I try to be in a comfortable space mm -hmm. where I'm not going to be interrupted. Mm -hmm. B, I try to sit down and settle myself and and ground mm -hmm. myself, whatever that ritual is. Take a few breaths, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Just to like and then the third thing is that i know this is the unshocking part is like i do ask my angels yes. and guides to please show up and give uh, the highest mm -hmm. the guidance for my guidance mm -hmm. for my highest good and so Absolutely. of course i'm being demanding okay uh -huh. like i'm Bossing asking them around, for more stuff mm -hmm. okay but i'm like please do that and so i i just try to prepare myself mentally for yes. those poor people never get any rest no, exactly i told you that <laughs> since she talks to them they're going to complain like that holly like this She's a lot. Yeah, she absolutely. is a lot. Yeah. We got to get an extra absolutely. team for her. <laughs> <laughs> we need to add to our add to our group. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this. But love yeah, it. to relax, to you know, yeah, meditate be receptive. just a little bit. To, mm -hmm. If you got stuff you need to let go of, yeah, you know, that's happened that day, and try and just yep, chill out, yep. kind of just be with open and ready yeah yeah uh, no i yeah. love that that's great so as we're mm -hmm. wrapping up our little girlfriend chat which has been so delightful <laughs> really oh, well, I, like, love I know it's so much it fun we'll, we'll do it again we're gonna just i don't know we should have we'll like, do it live from hawaii there we go okay i love that i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a lay uh -huh. that smells so nice yes, and those flowers i know smell of those flowers. Purple. let's, just, let's uh -huh. just take a moment and just smell the flowers see this is how i manifest mm -hmm. we're smelling the lay and the flowers yeah. and here yeah. the ocean mm. oh yeah yeah i don't want the yellow ones i want i mean although they're pretty okay like i want like pink ones pink and purple pink pink or purple mm -hmm. like the, that mm -hmm. that yeah. shade would be lovely for me so if i'm gonna order yeah. up see see it gets yeah. even not just I mean, the flower and the not even just the flowers it's the specific even... flowers <laughs> those angels got to move but a I lot heard, of like, stuff flowers is going to be one of your early signs like flowers and, okay uh -huh. and that it's um it's not like um it's a lot of flowers it, okay i don't know if you just see them if you pass them i don't know i just well, he better Flowers be delivering them. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about that, that poor man. <laughs> the angels are like, I hope to God, if she gets a man, it takes a little pressure off us. <laughs> Let's help her find I that. I doubt it. Oh, I know. Well, you're yes, true. Yeah. That's anyway. True. So, okay. So is there any other things <laughs> that you can leave with our audience or any other advice or last parting words you'd like to say before we sadly have to go? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I just want to thank y'all for this incredible oh. opportunity. I, um, I've i never done anything like this before, That's and I'm so just fun. I love it. Um, so blown away that it happened and that I, I got to meet you and have this girlfriend right. time and talk about all this because I don't get a chance to do that, really. Oh, yeah. it's so much fun. Just, it's such an honor for us, too. It's a gift for us. And a oh, gift. Amazing. And, you know, honestly, like, all of this is healing. And mm -hmm. you are amazing. And our audience is going to oh, love you. you. Yeah, and for sure. And we love spending time with you. And for our audience, what we're going to tell you is... We're going to put everything, how to get a hold of her in the show notes. It's all going to be there. And uh, we will be promoting on social media. We're going to do fun things on social media. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And Thank promote you. her. So and you're going to want to reach out again. Yep. Trust your psychics before you sign up. Make sure, I mean, honestly, for me, it's usually word of mouth. Even at the psychic fairs, I'm like, who should we go to? Our and word that Laura is someone <laughs> yes. to pick up the phone Absolutely. and schedule with for sure absolutely so, so thank you. we thank you so much for your time laura we thank, thank you, you for your life of service mm. to this world we thank you for your time with us we love the girlfriend chat and we can't wait to get back and see you again and more readings beautifully said <laughs> beautifully said after you get to hawaii <laughs> <That's right. laughs> then there's lots more stories coming oh, absolutely yeah. oh yeah all right. Wow. 
<laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, everyone, for Thank joining us. So yes. All right. Thank you. It was wonderful. All right. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. everyone.